What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I see in the title is going down. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe button. Make sure I also go check out Doug and XI. Amazing guy, amazing information. Also, um, if y'all want to, you know, it'd be great if y'all do. Check out my website. Uh, y'all see the shirts behind me. Um, I'm actually wearing one. Um, I go through anxiety, depression, you know, so I made, you know, shirts to, you know, tell my story. Um, definitely appreciate y'all. Uh, the website is www.angstworldwide.com in the description box down below. Let's get a video. Alina Hubbard comes out with this new information, making these uh, interesting spin on Merrick Garland that I hadn't heard before. I think there she's kind of hinting at a new investigation and maybe new evidence and a new front on Garland. Well, welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. We're longtime fans of Alina Haba and Trump's entire legal team. But here she is with a little peek clip from her uh, Turning Point USA, TP USA, which I'm not a big fan of the organization, but you know, they, they do some good work. And this was a woman's thing they did so that she's all dressed in pink. So uh, listen to this. We are the fiercest warriors. And with courage and determination, we can overcome anything. Be a savage. Be a savage. Uh, that's a message to women that it's not uh, a lack of femininity to be savage. Uh, and I agree with that. I've seen... You back a woman, mama bear up against the wall. And I mean mama bear even being protective of her children or her country. And uh, she's right. Women, you can be savage. Also, meek and mild is uh, another trait. No, she she's fallen on her fanny since the very beginning. <laughs> her arrogance, her demeanor has been incredibly telling. It's very uh, much the typical coordinated, as we know, as you mentioned earlier in your show, with the Biden administration move. Now, I had uh, this is an interesting connection she makes that Fonnie Willis, who is arrogant and fell on her fanny, but her arrogance comes from the confidence of being the tip of the spear on this coordinated effort. So, you know, her her dismissal of everyone and the way she connects herself in court is probably because she knows that she's backed by Biden and Merrick Garland and the U.S. government corruptly and secretly. Even more news that's just coming in as we're going. The for the this is the documents case. Judge Cannon down in Florida is now considering whether Jack Smith's appointment. The, to the special counsel was even legal at all because he was right. a civilian. There was no Senate confirmation. That's right. Merrick Garland just poof, created a position. So now we're going to move over to Merrick Garland creating this position for Jack Smith. They did not run Jack Smith through the normal appointment and, and approval process. Merrick Garland just ran him in there. This is going to start all, I've said this for a long time, Merrick Garland is the bag man. It's like all of them lead to him and you kind of go, wow, he's, he's kind of doe-eyed and he's and he seems gentle and so, no, he is the guy who Biden, who probably orchestrated it and brought the plan to Biden, Biden okayed it. But the actual bag man is the Department of Justice and is Merrick Garland. He, just all the arrows point to him. He's the axle in the wheel. All the spokes point to him. I think one of the things he's just gotta do, he's gotta go in there and absolutely clean house. But yes. at, you know, at, at some level, these are all state prosecutors, and Merrick Garland yesterday was like, oh, that's an independent office. And hmm. Matt Gates was like, I know it's an independent office, but I want to know if you spoke with him. And he wouldn't answer the question. I know, I saw that. Yeah, he could have answered the question. We did a video on that already, that Merrick Garland would not answer Matt Gates. Yeah. Look for that. He has fire on him. It's called, I think we called it pants on fire. It was the thumbnail. Look for that one. But yeah, Merrick Garland would not answer if he's been in communication with Bonnie Willis. Alvin Bragg, Letitia James. He could have just made a clear no. He did not say a clear no. So this is their specialty. They try and say, oh, well, I believe what Merrick Garland said was, hey, Matt, why don't you put a request into the DOJ and we'll decide what we're going to do about yeah. that. Yeah, okay. It's a very simple question. Have you spoken to them? Have you spoken yes to no? them? The answer is yes. Yeah, she knows his answer should have been yes, but why didn't he say no? Why didn't he deny it? She's going to give the information here on why he gave that convoluted article, uh, answer because he could have lied and just said no. Then he'd be in trouble. The answer is 100%. Well, you yes, have the White House if it was no. Regardless of the whole situation, Mayor Garland, he's not going He's not going in the right direction right now. He's not going in the right direction right now. And I feel like these next few months going on to the next year, we're going to see some stuff change. We're going to see some stuff done. Um, you know, and that's what it is. That's just being positive, you know.
then then shut us down, us conspiracy theorists, us crazy MAGA Republicans that don't do anything but hate this guy. We love our country, yeah. and our country is based on transparency. It's based on the DOJ not being weaponized. And the DOJ is weaponized by him, and he's he's... He uses, this is weird, the government is so complicated, there's a thousand ways to lie, obfuscate, look over there. And man Merrick Garland knows all the ins and outs of every excuse. And not having a dual judicial system. That is America, and the man wouldn't answer the question that would completely implicate him, and I have some news for you. If and when President Trump wins in November, we will get to the bottom of all of that. Wouldn't answer the question because it would implicate. I literally just said that last video. Make sure y'all check out last video. I, w I was literally saying that when 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 it comes to the time when he went, I know I know what's gonna happen. We see the numbers, we see the support, we see the change that's happening. I'm telling y'all, and meaning by change is like the people that's switching over to the, you know. There's really not nothing going on, you know, with having who we have in office right now. But change, as in people changing from being that oh yeah i was i was a, a, a biden supporter i voted for biden i voted for barack obama I, you know those people change into you know loving trump katem see if he said no now he could face time in jail if he lied before them in this uh, investigation so he was not able to say no if he didn't have conversations with uh bonnie uh willis if he really didn't in truth he would have answered no so if he doesn't answer no the answer is yes he did it alina haba is saying they're going after him when trump wins and i agree with that he does you hear us throw around the words oh they got to go to jail they got to go to jail some of these top tier people they're a level of um conspiracy and corruption i mean juan merch on and I would definitely put Merrick Garland in this uh, category. They do need to go to jail for what they did. They need to be investigated, removed, and absolutely prosecuted, thrown in jail. And I'm, and I'm all for it. If that's Trump revenge, or if that's so oh, Trump's going to be a dictator for life, whatever. No, that's simple justice. Do the investigation. Yeah. Kick the bum out. You unappoint him. Appoint another attorney general and run the entire legal system in your favor. Get that case out of D.C. so you don't have to deal with a, a jury of his peers. You don't want a bunch of Democrats in D.C. That's why they're all all the Democrats in D.C. They want Hunter Biden's gun case to go over there. And they do because they have a sympathetic judge, sympathetic jury. They all know the Bidens for, you know, his hundred year career. Here's uh, the rest of Lena Haba in that uh, that TPUSA speech that she gave that we started with. They only call me names because I'm effective. Ding dong. Right. She's effective. Those of us who are effective, you get some heat. I get some hatred down in the comments. Always. That's fine. I can take it. It's because I'm effective. To those of you who have give, uh, paid compliments and given us a thumbs up, so many of you have donated and you've subscribed. You're my favorite people in the world. I'm Doug. Yeah. That that just go and make sure I go check out Doug. Uh, if y'all if y'all haven't already, but. That's what, you know, when I was on live yesterday, somebody had said that it was in the comments. And if y'all caught that live, y'all seen it. When somebody said, oh, there's been plenty of change and uh, these past years have been great and Biden is the greatest. That When you hear stuff and see stuff like that, you literally see that people is trolling. You obviously see that people is trolling and pe or people just don't care because there's nobody in their right mind to think that these last past years was great. Like being honest. And that's being on it. Make sure I hit that like button, that subscribe button. Let me know y'all comments and thoughts down below. Catch y'all next one.